Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. 845 in your Monday morning, the first Monday uh, visit uh, of the month from our friends at Bristol Community College. Recently, uh, the college announced a new strategic plan for the 2024 time frame. We'll all be looking, as I mentioned a few moments ago, to get beyond the 2020. <laughs> Hopefully things will improve in the next six months and we can relax a little bit. Uh, but there's certainly lots going on at Bristol Community College. Uh, perhaps, Laura, well, good, first of all, good morning, Laura. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm very well. Heck. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Hanging in, and I hope you are as well. And things are well at the college. I know it's a it's a pretty hectic time, and whatever with all the stuff going on, particularly with the virus and all of that. But I know you're keeping things uh, nice and uh, nice and safe at the college. At uh, you put a, you put in some uh, some good plans way back when. I guess what, what well probably uh, what are you going back eight or nine months. It's hard to believe all that time. Yes, we've been working on it probably since January of last year, yeah, but yes, right. we're holding strong and our students, our faculty and staff are doing an amazing job of keeping themselves and their colleagues and, and their uh, fellow students very safe. And we're very, very appreciative of the, of the hard work that they're doing. They're paying attention and that's just great. Yeah, it's it's tough. I mean, you know, everybody's got to... It's uh, it's something that's on your mind, and it's it's tough to go ahead and, and perform uh, at a hundred percent. But lots of folks are doing it and going beyond. So congrats to those folks uh, for doing what they're doing. Now I know the new strategic plan is uh, is going to happen soon. Uh, let's talk a bit about the college's new mission, and vision, and values, and what you're looking at in the next uh, four years. Yeah. So we. Um... We went through a, about a year long process of planning, uh, and we looked at our mission and our vision and our values, and we re revamped them a bit. Our, our new bit mission is a lot shorter, so it's a little easier to memorize, uh, and it is Bristol Community College provides an accessible, innovative, and inclusive education that prepares students to navigate and succeed in our ever-changing world. So it's quite a broad statement, but then our vision takes it a little bit further, and our vision is advancing a vibrant, diverse community through education, learner by learner. All right. So and now, have I'm sorry. A you're number done. Of oh, go ahead, Heck. Oh, no, I was just going to say, I guess now we're on to, uh, on to the values. It'll be interesting to hear how, how you're going to uh, input all of that. Yeah, so they really do align with our mission and vision nicely. They are collaboration, communication, inclusion, innovation, respect, and student success. So great values to live by uh, to drive all of our fantastic work. Now, part of your plan, uh, uh, Laurie, is, uh, is partnerships. I know you're looking at doing a lot of that, and, uh, of course, these days we need uh, great partnerships. Yes, you know, we have four uh, main strategies for our strategic plan. Um, they include academic innovation, equity and in student success, organizational excellence, and partnerships. And as you mentioned, partnerships are really, really important. And as we assess what we were doing in the community, we recognized that we had so much more to do, especially if we really want to create a college going community in Bristol County. And so some of the things that we're looking at uh, in terms of strengthening with our new strategic plan is, of course, to increase our post-secondary educational attainment in Bristol County. Uh, we want that to happen. You know, we are, uh, we do not perform as well as many other counties in Massachusetts when it comes to educational attainment, even though Massachusetts is ranked the highest in the nation. Bristol, community, Bristol County and a number of other counties really haven't made that grade yet. We're only at about 28% of our total population having a college degree. So we really want to up, up that because it will draw in business and industry and allow our families to become self-sufficient and, um, and live all their hopes and dreams. 
The other thing that we're trying to do is increase the number of students who are going to enroll at Girls School through non-traditional pathways. So we know we have a lot of adult students who have yet to um, uh, really reach maybe their educational goals. About 16% of all adults in Bristol County don't have a high school diploma, so we rarely want to strengthen that. And then we want to keep that pathway going on to college so that students have a certificate or a degree so that they can get really great jobs. The other part of a partnership strategy has to do with strengthening existing uh, industry and community partnerships. So that's with business and industry and really growing those. Um, and then the other part of it is increasing our transfer rates of our students to four-year institutions. You know, we have great institutions right in our own backyard, like UMass Dartmouth, uh, and it is just wonderful working with Interim Chancellor Preble uh, and his team to really uh, create better opportunities for our students to, to go on to UMass Dartmouth and our other schools as well. All right. Yeah, that's just, that is such a, a, a great deal with uh, Bristol Community College. You've been doing it for some time, and you're not only making it more convenient for a lot of students, but, of course, saving them lots of money, right? Saving them a lot of money. And, you know, that's another thing with our partnerships with high schools and early college. Some of our students are achieving a full associate's degree or maybe a full year of college before they even leave high school and that is just fantastic imagine saving a whole year of college tuition that's uh, what we need and particularly these times we could uh, certainly use the the break when it comes to uh, to the money aspect of education dr laura douglas president douglas uh, we appreciate you being along with us on this monday i hope you have a wonderful christmas and a, and a happy new year and i guess we'll talk sometime in january we will. So you stay safe and enjoy the holidays COVID style, all right? You as well. You take care. Thank you. All right. <laughs>